Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to share my interview experience as well as uh, interview question and answer which I faced during my ATI interview. So ATI is Larsen and Turbo Infotech. Most of you might be knowing if you are into the IT field, okay? So uh, before jumping into the interview question and answer, let me discuss in crisp uh, about the interview process, okay? So once you once you get the interview, all right, it is going to be just one round of interview, okay? Based on your label. So if you are taking like seven years of experience. So you have to give one round of interview okay in that one round uh, you will be assessed on all the particular skills that you are applying to so i applied for a full stack developer role so i was uh, i was asked questions based on uh, react js javascript sql dot net with it okay so all these things are there so once you join the company you need to face a uh, second round of interview that is another round of interview with the client but in order to join LTI, okay, you need to clear just the one round of interview. Okay, so let's discuss the interview uh, questions and answer. So since I appeared for a full stack role, I was assessed on all the three fronts: backend, frontend, as well as the database part. Okay, so I will be discussing first uh, the coding part or the .NET C sub part. Okay, so I'm going to discuss all the question and answer. Sorry, I'm not going to discuss the answer because if you want to know the answer, then you can refer the playlist. I have already created all the videos having uh, question and answer in details. Okay, so I will be pasting the link in the description or I will attach the link in the i button you can click and you can have a watch okay? so let's see the first question so uh, uh, I was asked to differentiate between interface and abstraction okay so make sure like uh, you are giving them three to four differences okay with example so if you are explaining them with example that is a perfect thing if not that's okay uh, then second question was uh, what is boxing and unboxing so the third question was what is the difference between const and read only the fourth question was discuss the design pattern okay so you might have used some design pattern in your project like uh, we do have three kind of design pattern right creational structure behavior so out of which uh, you might have used a repository pattern factory pattern simulation design pattern so no need to explain everything so whatever you have used inside your project okay so we need to explain that particular stuff right the next thing is explain the solid principle okay so uh, you know there are five principles which we apply in our project right solid principle that is single responsibility principle open close principle the disco substitute principle then uh, what is next i i is for interface segregation principle and d is dependency inversion principle okay <laughs> obviously when he asks solid principle you no need to like tell him the full form of solid principle okay you need to explain a little bit about every principle okay Let's move to the next question. So the next question I faced was how to write test cases. Okay. So um, when you write uh, some codes or some methods inside your project, okay, so you need to test that as well. So you might have used some uh, framework to test it. So you can take that same framework, okay, and how you can. Uh, so how you were able to test it effectively without uh, touching the actual database, okay. So for that purpose, we use actually mock database. So in our project, we had used uh, effort library or effort, effort provider, okay? So uh, accordingly, you can tell what you have used, okay? So let's go to the next question. So then it says, uh, what's the difference between all the three types of delegates, okay? So delegates is the key question like you are going to face in every, every interview, okay? So, but here I was asked to differentiate between three types of delegates that we have, okay? So all the three types you might be knowing or you can search it. So it's predicate uh, action and fun delegator. So the next question is, uh, what is dependency injection and how you can achieve it? So if you have used a uh, target code, then you can achieve the dependency injection uh, inside uh, startup.cs class, okay? If you, are, uh, if, if you have used uh, .NET framework in your project, then you can achieve it uh, with the help of Unity config file. Uh, but you need to uh, like tell him what are the dependency inversion like uh, you do have three type of dependency sorry sir you do have three type of dependency injection right you need to tell this thing so you do have uh, add a scope add singleton add transient okay so make sure you know the difference between all these three because he may ask some counter question so that was all about the dot net and these are question I faced during the interview. So let's move to the SQL question okay so before moving to the SQL question if you like this kind of content okay uh, then you can do subscribe the channel only in case if it helps you okay and uh, if you think that uh, this is going to help uh, any of your colleagues then you can save the video as well okay. so let's go to the SQL question so uh, the first question I faced was what is unity 
So you, you don't need to tell just the definition, you can uh, explain him with the example why you need to apply the unique key uh, on your table. Okay. So let's go to the next question. Uh, it says, uh, what is the difference between primary key and the unique key? Okay. So you can tell him two to three difference between primary key and unique key. Uh, all right. So the next question is, uh, what is the difference between a store procedure and function? So this is one of the questions which I faced in every interview. Okay. So you must be knowing uh, four to five difference uh, between these store procedure and function. Okay. Uh, let's discuss the next question. So next question says, what is the difference between union and union or? Okay. Uh, the next question is what is CTE common table expression and why we use it okay so uh, you might have used CTE in your core also or uh, to integrate with the database or uh, query so nowadays people do not uh, tend to use or do not prefer to use a store procedure they are simply going with the CTE because it's uh, faster as well and the next question which I faced was what is the difference between uh, table variable and temp table Okay, so you need to uh, know the difference between these two. You can Google it or you can refer my playlist. I think I have uh, mentioned this. So I think I have covered this as well. Okay, if not, uh, you can just comment it out. I will I will provide the uh, explanation in the comment box. Okay, so that was all about the SQL guys. Let's move to the React JS and JavaScript. So the first question I faced was how virtual DOM works. As we all know, like uh, React JS worked on the virtual DOM, right? So you need to explain them the process. Uh, of how virtual DOM works inside the React Okay. The second thing is uh, you need to explain the lifecycle method of a React components, right? So you might be knowing we do have several lifecycle methods, right? So it starts from the uh, mounting, then it comes to the update part, and then the last one is unmounting. So these are the three phases, but inside these three phases, we have several methods. Okay. So those things I've already covered in the interview series of React.js. You can go and have a look. Okay. The next question was how to call the API endpoints inside of React. Okay. So if you talk about the class component, then uh, you do use fetch. Fetch is a keyword to call your API endpoints. Okay. Dates like uh, uh, date or post. Or uh, there are other way of calling the API endpoints as well. Like you can use the Axios library, so you can use Axios or Axios or Post, or if you are using hooks, okay. So then, so if you are using hooks, then in that case, you can use uh, use effect hook to call the API and do the operations. Okay? So let's go to the next question. It says, uh, what are hooks, okay, and why we use hooks? So they, they are basically expecting you to explain hooks and uh, you can explain to or one or two type of hooks that you might have used inside your project or you might have studied about, okay? Like use effect, use state, use demo, use reduce. Okay, so the next question is, uh, what is the difference between var, date and const? So this this particular stuff uh, can come from either JavaScript or, or React part, okay? Okay, so the next question I faced was, what is occurring in JavaScript, okay? So uh, this is also I think I have covered inside my uh, interview series of on JavaScript. So you can go and have a look. The next question I faced is uh, from the React chase and that was what is higher order components in React? Okay. And the next question is uh, what is pure component in the React? And the next question is what is prop drilling? Okay. I also faced some question from the Redux part, but uh, since I also face some question on Redux. Okay, so Redux and Flux is something that uh, uh, the possibility of question being asked on those two sections are like 30 to 40 percent. Okay, so uh, first you try to cover the JavaScript React JS, all this main section, and then you can uh, go for the Redux and Flux. Uh, out of these two, like Flux has the least possibility of uh, being asked in any of the front end interview, right? So that was all about the today's session, guys. So we'll meet up in the next video. So till then, bye bye, take care, have a nice day.